Hey guys, my name's Alex. Welcome to my channel where we awaken the fire in you. For today's video, we will talk about how I lost weight. Paano nga ba ako pumayat? At my heaviest, I was 160 pounds and at my lightest, I was 108. So if you want to find out how I went from this to this, then keep on watching. I decided to make this video dahil gusto ko talagang makatulong sa lahat ng mga nagstra struggle pa sa kanilang fitness journey. Na pagdaanan ko rin yan lahat, I know how it feels, I know how hard it is. That's why I really hope na makakatulong ang mga tips ko sa inyo for today. This video is two parts. To watch part one where I talk about my fitness journey, click the link in the description box below. I've learned so much from my fitness journey, but to summarize, these are five things that really worked for me. At sana ma-apply niyo rin to sa sarili niyong fitness journey. Number one, to change your body, you must change your lifestyle. Getting fit is simple, but it's not easy. So, walang shortcut guys, at kailangan talaga ng holistic na pagbabago para ma-achieve yung dream body mo. Also being fit, woo, also being fit and being healthy, it's not something that's seasonal. Kailangan year round mo talaga siya gagawin. Wala namang sikreto sa pagiging fit. You just need to have proper nutrition, exercise, sleep, hydration, and manage your stress levels well. Pero Kailangan talaga mahit yung targets sa lahat ng factors na to to have a sustainable change in your body. And to do this, you really need to revamp your whole lifestyle. So in order to be fit, kung gusto nyo talaga ma-achieve yung dream body nyo, there will be many things that you need to give up. There will be many habits that you need to change. But I promise you, it's worth it. Not only for your aesthetics, pero para na rin sa health niyo. Number two, see weight loss as science. Para sa akin, weight loss is a science experiment. And ako yung subject ng experiment. Titingnan natin yung iba't ibang variables. <laughs> and yung variables na yun ay food, exercise, sleep, Stress, lahat yun ay nakaka-affect sa body mo. You need to do your research, pero walang one size fits all. At trial and error and experimentation talaga yung panghahanap ng routine na suitable sa yo. You need to get to know your body, and that's something that I find so exciting and exhilarating. It's also really important to compute and measure everything. Measure, measure, measure everything. Measure your weight, measure your physical activity, measure your food para ma malaman natin yung mga variables na naga affect sa mga results mo. Every single person is unique. The way that every single person responds to a certain kind of diet or exercise is going to be different. And the only way to find out what works for you is to try. Also, when you are on your fitness journey, I would recommend not changing more than one factor at a time. Para malaman mo kung ano yung gumagana para sa'yo. Did you get more results because of this certain workout or because of this diet? Hindi mo yun malalaman kung sabay-sabay yung mga pagbabago. In science, you only change one variable at a time. So sa fitness, ganun din dapat. This way, makukuha niyo yung best results in the shortest amount of time. Also, I cannot stress enough the importance of eating right. Not too little, not too much, but just right. Food is nourishment at kailangan natin ito para mabuhay. 
So I really recommend that the first thing that every single person does in their fitness journey is review your diet, check if it is healthy, check if it is enough food for you to give you the energy to do what you need to do every single day. Number three, have a positive mindset. Nakakataba ang stress. For real, promise. Being stressed about your weight loss, being stressed about how you look, being stressed about food and your body is not going to help you reach your goals. Actually, malaking hadlang to sa weight loss. Pag stressed kayo, you're more likely to give in to temptations. You are more likely to choose temptations over your long-term goals. That's why, as much as possible, be positive and reduce the amount of stress in your life. Maliban dun, kailangan rin maging hopeful and positive tungkol sa fitness journey nyo. Because no matter what your goal is, it's not going to happen overnight. But it's also important that you do not give up it's so much easier to go on when you have faith that you will reach your goals. And the only way that you can power through and achieve your fitness goal is if you yourself believe that you can do it. If you're hopeless, then you'll just give up. Kaya nyo to. Number four, find a support group. Humans are social creatures. And mas madali nating na achieve yung mga goals kapag meron tayong support system, kapag may friends or family tayo na tutulong sa atin every step of the way. So find your support group, whether it's friends or family members na alam kung ganong kahalaga itong goal sa yo, or new friends from your gym or from your sport, or here on this online community we can also be your support system. This will increase your success rate in achieving your fitness goal. Number five, give it time. Be patient. Fitness is a marathon, not a sprint. Maaapektuhan ang health mo kung masyadong mabilis yung pagpapayat mo. And we don't want that. We want you to be healthy, we want you to be happy, and we want you to be fit. And in order to do that, Kailangan mo ng enough time para mahit yung targets mo. A safe range of weight loss would be anywhere from 0.5 to 2 pounds per week. So anything more than that would be considered rapid weight loss. At yung nakakatakot pa sa rapid weight loss ay lalaki rin yung chance na magre-rebound ka at magigain mo yun ulit. Trust me, I would know. It has happened to me so, so many times. I promise, hindi nyo talaga regret to go for slow and steady weight loss versus fast weight loss. It's healthier, it's more sustainable, and it's more long-term. Hindi talaga overnight ang results at it really takes time to have change in your body. Imagine for me, it took so many years to get the body that I actually want. And until now, it's something that I still consistently work on every single day. So just be consistent and keep fighting for your goals and you will get there one day. So there! Coming from a place na nag-struggle talaga ako sa weight loss dati, now it's easy, it's part of my life, it's part of who I am, it's part of my lifestyle, and it can be part of yours too. So I hope to be a part of your support group and to help you on your fitness goal however I can. Please leave any of your questions in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you. I'll be making a lot more videos about fitness, going through the specific steps that I talked about one by one. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.